this is the iRobot Roomba 530. This is the fifth generation of the iRobot Roomba, and it's this improved version of the 400 series. You will see the robot is being charged right now. You see the light blinking, and that means it's not ready to be used. You can still use it, but it's not fully charged. This iRobot is very, very simple to use. We're going to explain to you a few things. This is the cleaning button. Once you want to clean, you just press it on and we start cleaning. This here is a spot button. If you want the iRobot just to keep turning around in a spot to clean better, you press this button. And this one is a dock button. You want the iRobot to get dark, you just press it on. Usually this is automatic. Once the robot fills its Battery is getting low, it will recharge, it will go back to the dock by itself. Now, this version has a handle. Very interesting. You see here, you just can lift it up and then it goes and you can carry anywhere you want to. Okay, I hear you. And this is the button where you clean the dust which is collected in the beam, all you have to do is to press it like that and slide off, very simple. And then the dirt will be collected inside, you dump them in the garbage bin. And you can rinse it with water if you choose to uh, and dry it. And in this beam also there's a filter. The filter, you just press it open, it will slide off and you can clean it. It comes very, very easily. You will see from here, you just press it, it will come out and then you take it off and clean and then put it back. Um, you need to change it after a while, maybe around two months. Like that, slide it back and then it goes like that. But before we do that, we want to show you a few things underneath. This is not very happy, we are playing with it. This arrow over here, you will see here to clean up, we press the latch and just open up. And there are two brushes. This is the main brush. This is going to get very dirty. All you have to do is to remove the hairs or rinse it in the water and then dry it. And then you have the other brush, which is a plastic brush and needs to be cleaned too and rinse in water and put it back. And here you see, you can clean this area too. This is the dirt sensor. If it's dirt, it will detect it and it will clean more intensively. When you finish, you just put it back. All you have to do is just slide it inside. Put it back, slide inside the form. Here it goes. And then close it. There it goes. Very simple. And this goes back here. This way, sorry. Just slide it in. And there it goes, ready to go. Um, we, this is a revolving brush, which is perhaps the most important. It cleans the corners. Those wheel seals can be changed if they are used up. This is a cliff sensor. Prevents the iRobot from falling downstairs. And these are the contact elements to get the robot charged. So it's very, very simple, very neat little fix. Now it's been charged. And this is what we call it the um, uh, lighthouse, virtual wall lighthouse. It will prevent the robot to go to certain part of the uh, room or you have just press it on here and then here you can uh, decide how the range, whether you want it long range, you press down, short range, you press up. Long range you will use a more battery, short range it uses less battery of course. Very simple to use, very nice little thing. So we're going to test it um, and see how good and effective it is to clean a room with carpets. Apparently this version does not get entangled when it cleans the carpet and of course it should be able to clean the floor very well. So we'll test it and we'll give you an evaluation of it.